Hey everyone, welcome back to Sassy Gal Prepping. Today I'm in the kitchen and I'm going to be making gluten-free honey and cornflake cookies. It was a new recipe I got from one of the books that I found at the library. Um, and it has four ingredients and uh, so we're gonna just try it out. We're gonna do it here right in the kitchen and y'all get to join me for the first time. So this recipe requires um, butter, honey, cornflakes, and self-raising gluten-free flour. Now, this is something that I got off of Amazon. It was the only place that I could find it in stock. Walmart says they carry this stuff, but they didn't have anything available to send to me. So I just went ahead and got this on Amazon and we're gonna try it. So self-raising white flour, the brand is free and it was not free y'all okay it's kind of on the pricey side but I wanted to just try it so I'm going to need two cups of this self-raising gluten-free flour um, I am going to need two and a half cups of cornflakes I'm going to need half a cup of honey and as you can see I'm trying to use up the honey that I have that's just kind of been <laughs> getting can I say crusty but it's not it's all good but I'm just gonna try to get it all out this jar I am warming it up a little bit so I can get it out of there it's just you know how it gets crystallized and stuff so we're warming this up a little bit I'm gonna use both of these together to get that and then you also need one and a quarter stick butter and what I'm going to be doing is melting this right now um, and as I melt this then I'm gonna add the honey in there together so I'm just gonna get this going and I'll bring you back all right I got my honey out those two containers was exactly half a cup that's exactly what I needed and so now you put the honey and the one and one quarter sticks butter into the saucepan and then you melt it over low heat so we're gonna be doing that and in the meantime well I already did this but you can do it Get your cookie sheets out and line them with parchment paper and turn your oven on to 350 degrees. Do, 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 do. Okay, I have added in the two cups of self-raising flour and the two and a half cups of gluten-free <laughs> cornflakes. Cornflakes are gluten-free anyway. Okay, it looks like everything is melted. Be careful to not do this too high. You don't want anything to boil. So we're just gonna go ahead and pour this over the cornflake and flour mixture, and then we're going to combine it. It's starting to get gooey. Kind of reminds me of making Rice Krispie treats. Okay, the recipe says to use a tablespoon and you come in here and get your mixture and then roll it into balls and place it onto the cookie sheet. But, um, and I, I have this sitting in here so you can kind of see, this is my Pampered Chef uh, scooper and I love using this when I'm making cookies. And I'm just gonna go ahead and use this since it will just go ahead and I can just not really touch this with my hands. I can just put it in here and scoop it out onto the sheet. All right, into the oven they go. And that's what they look like before they're cooked. One thing I forgot to do was to flatten them with a fork. You had to flatten them with a fork slightly, so I came back and did that, and uh, we'll <laughs> get them back into cooking. So it says we're supposed to bake them for 10 minutes um, or until they are lightly golden brown. So we are gonna be watching these and see how they turn out. Okay, I gave these an extra two minutes because I wasn't sure when it says golden or lightly golden. I'm trying to figure out what exactly is golden because I don't know if that's what they really look like. Um, I can tell by this um, cornflake that got left off to the side, that's 
you know, that's golden, looks a little toasty on there. So hopefully that's what I'm going by. Here's another one that got, you know, like that's definitely golden. So um, we're gonna let these cool on the pans. That's what the instructions say. And then we'll give one a go. Well, okay, here comes a taste test. Okay, we're gonna pick this up. It does not, whoa, hello. Oh, hello, it kind of crumbled. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Okay. It seems a little dry. Whoops, obviously because it's crumbling. So with the cornflake mixed in there, it gives it a little bit of a crunch. Um, it just seems like it's a little dry. It seems like it's got a lot of the um, flour in there component and it makes it seem a little dry. If you um, are watching and you're a gluten-free person and you cook with gluten-free flours, do you have any tips? Maybe something to add to this recipe to get it to maybe be a little less, um, a little less uh, dry and crumbly. That would be great. Let me know down in the comments. Okay, my daughter came down here too and tried one and she bit one and said she felt like she was eating the desert. <laughs> and I, I'm now actually thinking like, okay, now I know what it's like. I feel like I am eating a biscuit with cornflakes in it. It's, um, somehow it's like the flour is, it's, I can feel the grain of the flour. So this is like, look, that's just all flour, Ugh. flour right there. And like when I eat it, it's like I'm eating flour out of the bag. Right, so here's the recipe. This is interesting. I would love some comments on this uh, recipe, what you think maybe I could add to it. Um, the dough... The dough is really, well, dough, this is not really dough, but see, it's sticky and um, it's very greasy because of the butter. But even then, I don't know. I don't know what this is supposed to be like. I didn't even get a picture with this recipe. I'm talking too much. Let me know some comments. If you've tried anything like this before, if you have any ideas, let me know. And uh, until next time, y'all, <laughs> Stay sassy, but keep it classy.